Pisces, hi, welcome to my channel, Beyond the Moon. I am doing a peek at your person, love tarot reading. All right, so Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, if this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross watch, but don't force anything to fit, okay? It is a general reading. And also, Pisces, stick around till the end. I'm gonna pull some letters, numbers, zodiac signs, see who it is you're dealing with. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and if you'd like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. Let's get into it, Pisces. All right, your overall energy, starting off with time to go and chaos and conflict, became a little too much, Pisces. You felt you had to walk away, time to call it quits, all right? A little too, weighing a little too heavy on you, too much craziness going on. Let's see, what's your person's overall energy? Pisces person in love. What's going on, Pisces person? What's going on? I just saw Between Worlds. I hope these are flipped too. A hmm. lot going on with your person. Okay, let's see. Overall energy, please. All right, we have Breathe. That's an interesting twist. They could be reflecting, uh, meditating, going within, come to the edge. All right, so I could be getting Pisces the, uh, I was going to say the end of you walking away from somebody, and this could be somebody new that you're moving towards, all right? Maybe they're trying to manifest you or ready to take some kind of leap of faith, um, but then Unfinished Symphony came out. So... This, you could be leaving somebody and going back to somebody from the past past, um, or this person feels like it's not done and you do, all right? So take that how it resonates, but we'll dig in and see what's going on. All right, current situation for Pisces and their person. Also keep in mind, Pisces, it is a general collective reading. So as I say, your person's energies, it could be yours. So feel free to flip flop and reverse them, okay? All right, Pisces. So finding happiness in this connection may have felt like a complete burden to you. I have 10 of wands and then the sun. So you're putting this burden down. You're walking away from it to find your happiness because it just weighed heavy on you in this connection. It was too much, too much to take. All right, let's see what else. Current situation, Pisces and their person. Current situation. All right, you may have felt stuck or your person felt stuck. Let's see what's going on. We have the devil, Capricorn energy, shadow side, five of swords, six of wands. Um, for some of you, this person or you um, could have been dealing with some kind of like addiction, drinking, partying, shopping, spending, working, anything in excess. And it's almost like they felt tied to that energy. They felt tied to whatever this toxicity is. Um, it kept them stuck. There was a lot of conflict, tit for tat, self-sabotaging, um, and then six of wands. So I feel like somebody here is really trying to break through something that's keeping them tied and stuck. And they, they're really hoping for some kind of victory and success. I mean, a lot of the this first row here, you guys, with the current situation is kind of screaming some kind of like an addiction or something like that, but it doesn't have to be. It could just be that someone could have been stuck in another connection, all right? So let's just say you were in another connection and you're deciding to walk away. You felt stuck, you felt tied down, you felt like you were just burdened to find your happiness and you could have been stuck in something toxic, and this could be the new person's energy, all right? Um, I also feel, let's see, I, I'm trying to keep it positive, but I am feeling this person was really um, self-sabotaging and attention-seeking, all right? Uh, projecting, poor me, you know, uh, it's all your fault, blaming, pointing the finger, and it, it's, it was really them. So I'm feeling a lot of that energy coming through. Uh, but let's see, what are blockages here? Pisces and their person, what are blockages? 
judgment call, wake up call, reconciliation being blocked here. Queen of Wands. So Aries, Leo, Sag could be dealing with a fire sign. Could be a fire sign involved. Um, you may have just kind of like lost your attraction to this person. Maybe they disgusted you or you're just kind of turned off now. I don't know. Let's see. Communication got cut off. Yep, Pisces, you buttoned it right up. <laughs> Zipped it. Yep, you were done talking to this person. Communication, done. Could be either or. Feel free to flip-flop and reverse the, the energies, you guys. All right. Um, two of Swords. Okay, making a head-over-heart decision, seeing things clearly, trying to put emotions behind you. I feel like emotions are very much at the forefront of this. Um, Ace of Pentacles, it was not stable, Pisces. This connection was not stable. This is blocked. And I feel like it could have been a cycle. You could have been trying and trying and trying again. And it just never became stable for you. All right, what else? Yeah, see? Reconciliation blocked. A wake-up call blocked. I feel like this person, they need to reflect. They need to go within. They may need to heal. There could be trauma. You know, that, that is a cause for a lot of issues is trauma or PTSD or something like that. And they're, you know, self-soothing themselves. Yep. Ten of Cups, Ultimate Happiness blocked oh Pisces yeah I can see why you were like I gotta go this is this is too much this person may not even have been able to commit they could have been keeping secrets hiding stuff from you not being honest and truthful causing drama chaos conflict Ooh, let's see, how does this person truly feel about you, Pisces? Well, they're not ready to give up. All right, so Unfinished Symphony. Yeah, they don't want to lose you. Um, Queen of Pentacles, you are their stability. You are, I almost want to say, um, male or female, whatever, Queen of Pentacles, you almost are like their parent. You're, you mo have to mommy or, or daddy them um, because I feel like this person just doesn't know how to handle life, how to be stable, how to heal, how to give and receive love. I feel like this person leans on you for everything and that's why it was such a heavy burden, all right? Um, this is how they feel about you. They feel like you are their, their mom or dad. And it's almost like they may have been abandoned when they were a kid or have abandonment issues or something like that. And that's why they're doing all of this. And they turn to you for support, guidance, maybe to pay their bills, to give them money, to feed them, to clean up after them, to take care of them like, like they're a child. They do feel that soulmate connection with you. Four of Wands, it's like they want to commit. There could be something to do with house and home. You're their security, you're their safe place. Yeah, you're the boss. Pisces, you are the boss. You carry them. That's Aries energy, by the way, the emperor. You handle it. Pisces, you guys, you just, you do that. You just handle it. Whatever gets thrown at you, you handle it. This person might have pushed you over the edge. You know? All right, what else? What else? How else do they feel about Pisces? How else do they feel? Yep. Now they either feel they cause betrayal, backstabbing, a painful ending, or 
losing you is making them feel like you betrayed them. Remember, it's your fault, right? That's that's kind of the energy I'm getting. It's your fault. And I feel like they're blaming you for leaving them behind. You're leaving me just like everybody else left me. It hurts, abandoned, backstab, betrayal, all of that. Oh, this is very toxic, Pisces. Very toxic, if this is resonating with you. The heart broken. They may know that they broke your heart as well. So you're both kind of feeling that pain from this, um, but you, you gotta go. Um, I feel like they might be waiting for you to change your perspective or gain some clarity because I really feel they think you're just going to come right back. All right. Because you probably tried to disconnect from this quite a few times and then you just ended up right back in this cycle. All right. What's the potential outcome here? The Hermit Virgo energy. All right. What else? Keep in mind you have free will. So do they. So this outcome could change. You're really, really going within. I feel like you are going to keep communication cut off from this person, Pisces. And I feel like you really are reflecting or trying to gain some kind of clarity, change your perspective. You pulled your energy back for sure. Um, you might be moving very slow when it comes to this person. Or you could be moving towards somebody new. Possibly a fire sign, a Sagittarius specific, uh, Leo Aries. Or you are just pulling your energy back. Moving very slow, trying to make the right moves, trying to regain your own stability. And trying to find that spark from within again. Trying to like find yourself again. Um, I feel like you are going to keep your walls up, keep your guard up, uh, especially when it comes to this person. I feel like you are that wounded warrior. You fought until you just couldn't fight anymore. We have a Leo coming towards you, but let's see. What else? Pisces, Pisces. Potential outcome here for Pisces. Five of Wands in reverse. No more drama. Heated arguments, disputes, chaos, conflict, competition, third party stuff, too many people involved. Um, you're putting that to an end because you're closing this cycle out the world. Some of you could even be like moving away, uh, moving to a different state, city country who knows i feel like but you are closing this cycle out pisces you're making that decision now you're waiting for your ships to come in okay what is this waiting what's coming in towards pisces Ooh, maybe a scorpio i just saw it flip uh or another water sign or that's you uh, Pisces finding yourself again, waiting until you're healed, waiting until, you know, you're comfortable and confident. Yep. Moving on to calmer waters. Six of swords. Yeah. You're not in a rush to jump into maybe another connection. You know, you're trying to manifest one though. What is this? What is this magician here? Pisces, what's coming towards Pisces? What's Pisces manifesting? Hi, priestess, following your intuition, good. You might, you might be like moving in silence, keeping to yourself, not telling this person what you're doing, where you're going. You had a wake up call. Judgment, reconciliation, an aha moment. Something about house, home, leveling up. All right, it wanted to come out again. There might be communication, uh, maybe with a Scorpio. Uh, Cancer or another Pisces or King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You may have two people here. 
King of Cups, King of Pentacles that you are communicating with and talking with. Or this could be one person who I feel can offer that emotion, um, emotional stability and security, financial stability, or just a stable relationship. This could even be like a friend that you've been talking to or someone that's been helping you through this chaos. But I feel like you are actually going to level up. I don't feel, some of you, I'll be honest, maybe like 10, 15% of you are probably going to go back to this situation because you're not done learning your lesson. The majority of you are, are moving on. You're closing this cycle out. You're keeping your walls up. You're not fighting anymore. You, you cut them off, blocked them. And now you're t I feel like you're talking to possibly somebody else or you will be talking to somebody else. Ace of Wands. Oh, commitment. There's going to be attraction, passion. It could even be a fire sign. So I have heavy water, earth, and fire coming through in this reading. Not a lot of air, but don't disclude it. All right. We're going to pull zodiac signs at the end. Let's see. Pisces biggest obstacles participation. So what was your participation in this? What was your where did you go wrong? And I'm not saying you you did anything wrong. Was it taking them back the third time, the fourth time, the fifth time? Was it being too forgiving or giving too much of yourself or you know what I'm saying? Um, the master, follow your intuition. I feel like the, the universe has been poking at you, <laughs> nudging you. All right. Past lives, karmic, could have been a karmic projection and guilt. This person was pushing a lot of this on you. It's your fault. It's your fault pointing the finger and making you feel guilty. And it was working for a while. Now, Mm -mm. You're not going to participate in this anymore, Pisces. Nope. Nope. Most of you. Anyway. All right, let's see what else for Pisces. What else do we have for Pisces? Family, kids, opinions, judgment, resolve family, stress, get support. You may have lost family, friends over this connection. Um... So you might need family, friends to help you and support you. Feminine, your divine feminine, you. Seeking twin or soulmate deception. Mask illusion, duplicity. Look beyond the superficial. Home, cozy, warm, secure. You need to find a safe place or somewhere where you feel secure, safe, comfortable. Um, for some of you, because this person... Just feels heavy. They they could, for some of you, if it's that toxic, go to great lengths. So if you feel in danger, make sure you call who you need to call. Keep yourself safe, you know. Um, but let's see what else. You and I were too young. So maybe this is someone you're married to and you got married super young and then you felt stuck. That could have been another reason why you felt stuck to this person. All right, what else for Pisces? I bury myself in work to forget you. That could be what you're doing right now. I can't stop thinking about you. You were the best thing in my life. Damn straight you were. Uh, I hope that you can forgive me one day and I want you. Just being near you is intoxicating. See, there's something about, and I know that means that like drunk love, whatever. I feel like there was something to do with maybe an addiction here. Let me pull some of these and see what they say. The Pisces. Kisses, unconditionally loving, giving, receiving affection, falling in love. You have someone new that is coming towards you. Yes, you do. And I feel like they are going to be unconditionally loving. It's going to be like night and day. 
Dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out, things coming to light, adapt, change, heal. Yep. You may have had that aha moment. That wake up call. And the phoenix. Yeah. Rising from the ashes. New phase. And date, meeting someone new. Dating, get back out there. See? And wedding rings. This other person could be the one, Pisces. Could be the one. All right, let's get some letters. Could be first, middle, last name, uh, initials. Could spell a name. Could spell a word meaningful to you. To get how it resonates. All right. C, V, Q, G, N, L, S, R, D, Z, X, O, E, T, H. Keep in mind, I only have one of each letter. Feel free to double it if it's a first and last name with the same letter, whatever. Okay, so C, V, G, N, Q, D, R, S, L, X, Z, T, O, E, H. All right, numbers. Numbers could be birthdays, the anniversary, number of weeks, months, years. Uh, could be angel numbers, could be an age. Take it how it resonates, okay? Let's see, we have three, five, eight, twelve. So um, the third, fifth, eighth, or twelfth of any month, or March, May, August, December. All right, zodiac signs you could be dealing with, who's coming towards you, strong placements in their charts, charts, or it could be um, even during that season, so like Pisces season. All right. Let's see, what do we have? Cancer, Cancer, Virgo and Sagittarius. I'm going to roll another Cancer. Another Virgo. So double Virgo, double Cancer, Sagittarius, and Pisces. We're dealing with another Pisces. <laughs> All right, that is what I have for you this week. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and if you'd like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. And until next time, Pisces, love and light, take care.